Yeah, Santa Clausians. For the duration of this video, F you people par because this is the tragic story of the greatest heartbreak I ever experienced in high school. Hi guys, thank you so much for showing up today. It's your girl Suhaida too. I am so sorry for staying away for so long. I didn't mean to. I just got so busy and the time got away from me, but I'm back. If this is your first time, I really hope you enjoy this story and please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that every time I release a tantalizing video, you'll be the first to know. Do you like my top? What do you think? Come on, come on, tell me. You know you like it. It's beautiful, it's cute, it's simple, and it's from Haute Crochet. My friend Dosia and I are starting a fashion label for customized handmade Ghanaian yarn items. And you can grab this on our Instagram page for a very reasonable price. Haute Crochet, bring all the boys to the yard in your very nice outfits. So today's story is for you Santa Clausians and of course my fellow Kobo girls. I should actually be in a school uniform but I am not home, I'm in Takrade and so take this fashion statement like that. But yeah, Santa Clausians, for the duration of this video, F you people par because this is the tragic story of the greatest heartbreak I ever experienced in high school. How did it happen? Let's begin. In 2013, school was on break and my friends and I went to Sprite Bowl. We were hanging out, chilling out, watching the tournaments, you know, cheering some schools, booing others, the usual. Then I ran into one of my good other dear friends, David. David was with a Santa Clausian called Samuel. Very tall guy, about six foot five, dark skin, bambi eyes, well-spoken, really good to look at. Samuel and I hit it off and we keep talking day after day throughout vacation and by the time school reopens, we are in a full-blown relationship. We are both so excited about each other, so much so that I smuggled my yam phone to school. And I was lobby. I took the phone put it in my gallery and sent it to school and after prep every night i'll bring it out and thanks to tiggle free text messages and free night call instead of sleeping i will stay up and text and call and kiki with my man in cape coast as if all of these calls and attention wasn't enough one day i was sitting in my class after lunch and then my school daughter rushes in and she's like selma you've rained you've rained you've rained you've rained you've rained and raining in krobo means you've received a letter or a package from another school or somebody has come to visit you so i had rained a very beautiful latest edition at disco magazine and it wasn't just a latest edition at Disco Mag. On each page, there was a post-it note with a very beautiful message. Page one, I love you. Page two, I can't live without you. Page three, you're beautiful. Page four, you make me smile. All of that throughout the 150 pages of the magazine. Then he went ahead to write me a very nice poem. Hmm, really beautiful. And so I was very touched and it further solidified my place as Mrs. Samuel, whatever, whatever, in my head. We do keep quiet. I had reached, I had arrived, I was so in love, oh my God. It was the middle of the term. Everything was still fine between Samuel and I, but I hadn't heard from him for about three days. I was a little worried, but I suspected maybe his phone had gotten seized or something. I was in my dormitory minding my business and a junior comes to tell me that our entertainment prefect, Thelma Podjokro, was asking that I come over. So I put on my house dress, I go up to Agnes Akoto house and Thelma says, Suhaida, do you know any guy called Samuel this, 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 in house, that, 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 offering course, blah, 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 in a disco? And I say, yeah, that's my man. And she goes like, hmm. 
Then the whole dormitory is like, hey! So in my head, I'm just like, what is happening? Thelma proceeds to tell me that for the past two weeks, she had been chatting with some Padisco boy who is like keenly into her. And that was the boy's details. You go fire. Holy Ghost fire! So I was hit with this belief. I said, uh-uh, not my Samuel. I don't believe this. And everybody in the dormitory was like, you have the proof. Everything confirms itself. Your man is cheating on you. And I was just like, mm, -mm not my Samuel. Let's see a picture. So Delma asks for a picture and the picture comes and it's not my Samuel. Yay! I'm so excited and relieved because it was actually Samuel's other friend. I won't mention his name, but he was a scoundrel for doing that. He thought it was a prank, whatever he thought it was. He was basically having an entire conversation with somebody else in my school as my boyfriend. And about two days later, Samuel calls me and indeed his phone did get seized and he had finally gotten it back. And I explained what had happened. And he got into a fight with his friend over there in school. Like, I was called by my other Santa Clausian friends. I got the rundown that, yes, yeah, Samuel showed his friend Pepe and all of that. So I was back to my queendom of being Mrs. Samuel, whatever, whatever, whatever. Our relationship kept on growing strong. We kept talking every day. We kept exchanging letters. And yeah, I was head over heels. I could imagine us going to Legon together, ending up in Mensa Saba, him reading medicine, me reading law, growing up and getting those matching degrees. Yes, I was stupidly up there. <laughs> Kids, all of that, a big fat wedding, our parents liking each other. Then I had this big moment in school. As a drama and debate president, I was so proud when my team finally made it past regionals. In the history of Krobo Girls, we had never ever gone beyond regionals in the national debate um, competition. But for the year 2013, we did, and I was so proud. On the morning of our regional debate, I had gotten up refreshed after rehearsing, like, you know, ready to go claim first position for the Southern Zonal Sector. I took out my phone, hoping to read, like, you know, good luck messages from friends and loved ones. Sir. Here is this long message from Samuel, basically saying that our relationship was over because he needs to be able to focus on his studies. <sighs> to say I was devastated would be an understatement. I just remember like blanking out and then crying really loudly. I just like broke into tears. I was inconsolable. It brought like my friends around and I just showed them the phone. They read the messages. They weren't having it. They started dissing him, blasting him, sending messages and I was just crying. Out of the six schools that debated that day, Krobo Girls came fifth. And I fully take responsibility for our defeat because I was not in the right frame of mind. I was completely heartbroken. I was shattered. And you could read it in my face. You could hear it in my voice. As I stood there, unconvinced by what I was saying. And that is what brought us down. Afterwards, I, I think I was filled with so much anger because that was a defining moment in my life. That was a big moment. I was going to go so far. I was so sure I would have ended up as the national champion because I had done my homework well. But thanks to my emotional state, I lost it. And so I wasn't able to forgive someone for it at all. After the debate, my coach was so mad, everybody was so mad at me, I took it all in. Then I went to take the lovely Adisco magazine that he sent me. And on each note, on each page, I wrote a reply. So is this your love? Is this love how love ends? Is this your I'll love you forever? 
forever is this date like i just went ahead and you know poured out all my emotions i repackaged it and every other gift he had ever given me and i shipped it back to adisco land washed my hands of this boy after graduating i got my braids on i got really cute and like leveled up my baby girl game like nobody's business then i went back and befriended samuel and we got back into a relationship luckily for me i also got to do an exchange program in canada international girl this boy was flexing with me telling his friends that our girl were portray Chai! And I was making sure to send him pictures and all of that. Two months into my journey, I broke up with him. Yes, payback is a bitch, and her name is Suhaida. <laughs> I did that, and I have no single regret. In fact, the person who gave me the apport to do that to him was his classmate in junior high. Should I mention him? Leo gave me that advice. Leo was like, don't let this boy mistreat you. Oh. Finish school. Get your good grades. Level up on him. Then show him pepper. And I took Leo's advice. And trust me, revenge, serve cold, is the best. And so that was it. I had a nice relationship. The relationship turned sour. And in the end, I got my revenge. I don't feel bad about it but it really taught me a lot it taught me not to invest all my emotions in um, a relationship that I cannot completely vouch for it taught me that in Burma you're scary you can't be going to like them like that without protecting your heart up till date I am a returner every single time I have a falling out with anybody who gave me things I return them because I try to cut my ties that way. Hopefully I'll change and not be returning cars, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for staying through till the end. It's been fun recounting this experience. My lovely top is by host crochet. Visit them on Instagram and grab yourself a very cute accessory from yarn. It's been fun. Bless up. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave and I'll see you again next week with another exciting video. Bye!